Isn't that amazing? So if you haven't got an area where you can grow succulents outside out in the sun or full sun, you can grow it somewhere where it gets plenty of bright light. So again, I have to emphasize that plenty of bright light, but even if without no direct sunlight, the colorata will still color up. So anyway, so now let's propagate. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. With this mama now, it's got so many babies, and the babies before, so three months ago, I couldn't harvest them because they were still too young. But then now, I have removed a couple of the leaves, and even a couple of them have dried up, So, which means it exposes the node. So the nodes are those, are those uh, spots where the leaf used to be, so that's the one I was talking about. So, but this one now, I've got one, two, three, and four. Four. So the other one in the bottom might be hard to get to get to so I have to pull out the pot chop That's one And now that's in the bottoms uh, the one okay I'll just move this out of the way so you can see so this little baby plant like this Most people would actually sell it like this, but then to me I wouldn't buy anything well you can buy this let it dry up and I just proceeded to remove the leaf <laughs> now just remove the leaf so you can sell it like this or buy it like as is like that but it's going to take a while before the roots come out so anyway so this one now i'm going to leave it as is and what i want to do with this one is just wait see until the roots come out so put it aside and this one now i'm going to do the same so now that dry leaf there we remove that so that's all. That's very simple. So I've got two and maybe uh, I'll try and get to the bottom. But this one here, yes, that's got dry nodes. Okay. Three. Now I'm going to take the label off and I am going to tip this out. Normally, I've got my flat shovel here that I flattened, hammered the end, so it's nice and flat. Easier to get to the edge of the pot, lift up the thing, but the problem is I don't have room here. Or maybe I do. This corner. I'm just wriggle, wriggle, wriggle on the side. And lift. Oopsie, there you go. How about that? Okay, more and take the pot and voila, look at that. And now what I like to do is remove all that dirt there in the bottom and also clean this up. And I've got scoria here. Normally I don't like using scoria, but these are the time when the scoria are these volcanic rocks here. This one that I use for my lithops. So I mainly use this. Okay, without that. So I mainly use these ones for my lithops, but I don't like using it as dressings for my succulent. But that time I ran out of dressings and I was still new to growing succulents. So I thought it doesn't really matter what dressings you use. But it does, so I don't like using scoria for my succulents because it attracts mealybugs. But anyway, I'm going to... Oh, look, there's a leaf. There's a leaf growing with roots, but I don't think it's got babies. But I'll put it with the other ones there, just in case. So now this one here, the reason why I need to clean this up is because I want to see if we can... See, look. That one there now, that's got a node as well, so, see that there? So, it does have a node as well, so I could just pull it out, like so. There you go, so now, that would also encourage roots to grow much quicker on the tip of this one than compared to the other two that was cut. Okay, so that's another tip, there you go for you. So now, also, since you can't see those leaves at the back, might as well take them off and no, 
now other one too more room for the roots to grow and also this one could possibly also grow another baby okay so I've got so far four and just gonna clean that off and see if we can get some more babies and this one now that's actually quite long and deformed so we just take that off there you go another plant remove the dry leaves remove some of the leaves as well for propagation because there's really no point keeping them there take that one there and put it in my collection just check for mealybugs if there's any mealybug that one I thought it was a mealybug it's not because you will get this one I find colorata doesn't really get attacked by mealybug that much uh, there's another um, sort of colorado linsayana similar looking to colorata that mealybug loves can see that one there that's a bit of mealybug but it doesn't matter so you get oh there's none so there's a dead mealybug well it never it probably tried to lick it that's what I say when I say licked it like they would try to go on it but then decided to change their mind and say no nah, this is not delicious enough so we go somewhere else anything that's bent as well see see that definitely was a uh, mealybug tried to but see nothing it's all dried up so that's one so check inside all good but uh, I'm gonna have a closer look just to see anyway okay so if it does have mealybug then we treat it I just use uh, my methylated spirit spray on it but I use 75 percent directly now on my cuttings that way they don't get burned no need to do direct killing and that one's got roots and that beautiful okay but still, we have to leave this to dry up to callus off. We can't just stick it straight into the soil. At least leave it for one day if you really want to put it in soil before you put it in soil. So that way it just prevents it from getting attacked by any bugs or bacteria in the soil. There you go. So that's all good pathogens there you go nematodes if there's nematodes in the soil that just stops it so how many do I have so I got one two three four five six seven eight babies so now from one plant I've got eight beautiful babies plus a whole heap of leaves now I'll just put this in my area here I have a spot here where I keep all my leaves and cuttings there you go I will wait till the roots come out but if you so wish you can actually report that in the next couple of days provided your soil is not moist or really wet like so I have a video of how to report cutting so you could check on that see how that's done but essentially uh, I prefer to just leave it until they root up and once they root up I put it in soil and then that way I can water them straight away and less chance of getting bacteria or pathogens or nematodes that could kill the plant now this one I'll just clean it up and put it back in its pot and then of course I'm not gonna use the same soil I'm gonna use a fresh soil for this and since that's still sort of fresh over here I'm just gonna remove that more just to clean it up better and it's still a pretty pretty plant look at that beautiful big large beautiful plant
So now I won't put it back where I got it. I'll just put it here. Where it's still in the shade and not out in the open sun because the other side there I already put another plant over there. There you go, colorata. Oh my goodness. Look at the colors. Absolutely beautiful.